Okay, let's find the derivative. In this case, we have e raised to this um, polynomial function. So what we want to think about this as is a function within a function. We have that polynomial, the 2x to the 6 minus 6x to the 5th is inside of the e raised to a power function. So we'll utilize the chain rule on this. First, we're going to focus on the outer function. So the 5 e to a power. Now, normally it's just 5 e to the x. The derivative would be e to the x. Um, but in our case, what we'll do is take the derivative by saying it's going to be e raised to that same power. And you keep that the exact same for the inner function, the g of x, as it's written over in our chain rule on the right-hand side. But then next to that, we want to multiply by the derivative of that inner function. In our case, that what's up here in blue, the 2x to the 6 minus 6x to the 5th. So that derivative is going to be using the power rule a couple times. We'll bring the 2 along the constant, but then we'll bring the exponent down, reduce the exponent by 1. Minus 6, we'll bring that constant along. Power rule again says 5 comes down, reduce the exponent by 1. So we're going to get x to the 4th at the end there. We can clean this up just a little bit. I would say 5 e to the 2 x to the 6 minus 6 x to the 5th. And then next to that, we're going to multiply by 12 x to the 5th minus 30 x to the 4th. Um, you may have gotten to this point a little bit faster, depending on how comfortable you are with the power rule, um, taking the derivative of what was up in the exponent. So I hope this helps out. That's a good final answer right where we are. If we needed to evaluate it at a particular um, uh, x value, we would simply replace each of these x's with that x value and then simplify down using your order of operations. Hope this helps out. Good luck.